Lord's Supper is an ordinance of Christ to be observed by men and women of faith. And it's a memorial of his death for our sins until the time of his second coming. The bread represents his body broken for us, and the wine his blood shed for our forgiveness. Eating the bread and drinking the wine signify and seal to us the forgiveness of sins, our nourishment and growth in Christ, the bond of communion with one another in the body of Christ. As a sign and seal of God's faithfulness to his promises in Christ, the bread and wine summon us to our Christian duty and to renewed consecration in thankfulness for our salvation. <clears throat> The Lord's Supper is a feast of the Church. It's open to members of Christ's Church who are in good standing. If you have been baptized and confessed your faith, and truly trust in Christ alone for forgiveness and reconciliation with God, then we warmly invite you to participate. If you are ignorant of Christ and have not been baptized and confessed your faith in Him, if you live impenitently in sin, or at odds, are at odds with anyone present, or under discipline in this or another congregation, please do not participate, since to do so will invite the judgment of God. But we do invite you to remain and to prayerfully observe and listen, in the hope that God will speak also to your heart. In the name of Christ our Lord, I invite all who are contrite sinners who desire to partake of God's free and abounding grace through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, to partake. We came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And to those who confess their sins, he is faithful and just to forgive their sins and to cleanse them from all unrighteousness. <clears throat> Let's hear the words of institution as they're recorded by the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians. He writes, For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks he broke it and said, This is my body which is for you, do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. The Apostle continues, Whoever therefore eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of profaning the body and blood of the Lord. Let a person examine himself. Then eat, and so eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For anyone who eats and drinks without discerning the, the body, eats and drinks judgment on himself. On the night when our Lord was betrayed, before he took bread and broke it, he gave thanks. Join with me in thanksgiving. O Lord, we do bow before you in all the glory of your majesty which our minds cannot comprehend. But we thank you that we are able to come as poor sinners into your presence, saved by the blood of Christ. We do thank you for his body broken for us. And as we take of that bread broken in our presence and distributed among us, we do pray that your Holy Spirit will give us the sense of belonging to him of being indebted to his grace and belonging to one another in the same body. We pray in his name. Amen. On the night when our Lord was betrayed, he took bread and broke it and distributed it to his disciples. Please retain the bread and we will take it together. 